if you are in California and you're watching this show, I'm here to tell you that I am going to do turnkey real estate better. Turnkey real estate different. Turnkey real estate reimagined, right? Everything you knew or thought you knew about turnkey real estate, throw it out the window. We're doing it differently. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise and I'm here for you, specifically Dirty Sanchez out of California, right? That's my client's name, folks. I don't know. It's a nickname. I don't even I don't even know how we got the name. I don't want to know how we got the name. It's I don't know. It's it's messed. I like it though. Am I right? Ooh. Anyway, I bet you with a nickname like Dirty Sanchez, I bet you that guy could toss back some bears you know what i'm saying you don't get a nickname like dirty sanchez if you can't toss them back with the best of them all right but anyway enough about dirty's nickname origins let's talk about dirty's problems okay dirty's problems are that he lives in california and the housing market it's a mess right it's super expensive landlord tenant laws i mean dude come on right they're out of freaking control like it's like illegal to evict people in parts of california for three years now you got rent control moving it's a freaking nightmare in california right leaving california california exodus the great california exodus i mean dude how many crazy california sucks hashtags are there am i right like yo put them in the comments below if there's new ones out there that i'm like not not hitting not knowing not getting in my seo let me know man because you know i you know Great housing, Exodus, definitely. Uh, Rent-free, California. There's just so many. Give me more, though, right? I want more of those things in my comment section, please. Uh, the misery of Californians, it helps me in my business because I come in and I help you get your money out of that misery, right? And that's what I'm doing for Dirty, okay? And a lot of you guys that are dealing with this California BS, you end up going the turnkey route, right? Turnkey real estate makes sense, but I do it differently. I do it better. I do it way different, right? Traditional turnkey. I buy a house. I renovate the house. I put a tenant in it. I sell it to you in a pretty package with a bow. You're happy. I'm happy, right? But is that really the case? Why don't you dig a little deeper into that? Let's peel back some layers on that. If I'm buying a property and renovating it, I'm getting all that equity right there. And I'm selling it to you. I ain't going to give you a discount because every, every dollar you make is a dollar I lose. Every dollar you make is a dollar I lose, right? We're actually not on the same team, right? We're not on the same team at all. I mean, really, you're just you might as well be a car salesman, right? I don't think anybody thinks they're on the same team as a car salesman. Think about that, right? So what I do is I hook people like Dirty up. I actually do go on your team. You pay me to make you personalized videos like this, and then me and you, compadre to compadre, we go out there and we face the sellers together. And I hook you up. You get me working for you. And then after the fact, you get all the same turnkey services, property management, maintenance, construction, insurance. My team does it all, right? Turnkey reimagined. And dirty, the property I got for you today, we're going to go over that shortly because this is where it all starts, folks, in this video so you understand the pros and cons of what you're buying. Let's check the deal out after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this is where it gets interesting, right? This is where I reveal all my secrets, right? Doing a deal with only 18K. You might be thinking, dude, is this like some piece of crap? No, look at this. Oh, typo. Oh, technical difficulty. Here we go. Look at this thing, right? It's a pretty nice looking house, right? Only $18,000, folks. That's all you're going to need to do this, right? There are a lot of markets in the United States where the real estate is incredibly affordable. Conversely, there are a lot of markets in the United States where it's not, right? Think about it. Portland, L.A., all of California, all of Oregon. I From Ohio, by the way, Oregon, settle down. I understand I say Oregon incorrectly. I'm from Ohio. It's how we talk. I don't know. Chill out. 
loosen up the skinny jeans, y'all. That's just how I say it. Uh, Denver, right? Very expensive in Denver. Jersey, man. Jersey. Woo! It's, it's crazy in Jersey, dude. Uh, you know, New York, right? These markets, right? It, it's almost unconscionable uh, to be a rental property investor in some of these locations, right? So that's why a lot of you guys come to Holton Wise. We find you properties like this, properties like this. Look at this thing. It's basically turnkey. Now, here's the deal, right? This is the listing agent's photos. This is the person who is hired by the seller to sell you all this property. It all looks great. It looks move-in ready from the pictures. But you got to understand, that's their job. Their job is to make it look as good as possible. So when we actually get in there to inspect it, is it possible there is some cosmetic reno we got to do before we can actually put a tenant in there? Yes, but from what I'm looking at, it looks pretty move-in ready to me. But again, by design, they take pictures that hide imperfections. I'm not calling them shady or anything like that. That is their job, and I would anticipate that's what they're doing. So I'm sure there's some nicks or this or that, some imperfections here or there. Uh, and by the way, this basement might look a little dingy to a lot of you guys. This is just like what a normal basement, unfinished basement, is going to look like in this region. Okay, it's not meant to be like lived in, right? It's to house that furnace and that hot water tank. Which, by the way, that hot water tank looked fairly new. Probably has maybe another five years of life expectancy. Those are running about 12 hundo right now. They usually last about 15 years. That furnace, just from the quick glance I took at it, it's probably a good 20-year-old furnace, right? It was still green. Uh, you know, that like green style that, that was, you know, might be older, honestly, probably like 30, might be like 30, 35 years old, right? Typically, you get about a 30 year life expectancy out of furnaces. I do see them last longer. So I'll just tell you right now, based on just the fact that it had a green casing. When you actually do get the property inspected, your home inspector is going to give you a boilerplate uh, response, right? They're trying to, you know, protect their booty from liability. They're going to say something like, uh, furnace is past its useful life expectancy, recommend an HVAC technician check into it, okay? And we cut you through to BS. You don't need to do that. Look, furnaces, they cost about three to $3,500 to replace. They typically last about 30 years. Given that that one is green, I'm going to say it's over 30 years old. So anything that's over 30 years old, they're going to say that no matter what. Right? Pat's is useful life expectancy. Have an HVAC tech look into it. You don't need to have an HVAC tech look into it, folks. Let me cut this for you. Let me, let me break it down. It's past its useful life. It works right now. The day it stops working, you're going to spend $3,000 to $3,500 to get a new one because it's more than 30 years old. Okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Think about it like that, okay? You wouldn't spend any money trying to fix it up because it's already too old. You're just going to have to keep fixing it, right? So know that you're on borrowed time. If we're playing baseball, you're in like the 11th inning, right? We're in extra innings on that thing, right? So it works today, but know that sometime soon it's going down, folks, because we are in OT, okay? Sudden death. So that's that. But other than that, it's pretty darn turnkey, right? Looks pretty good. That's what you guys get when you work with Holton Wise. We put you into markets, into properties, into stuff like this, right? This particular property, it's located in a little place called Lorraine, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland, Ohio market. It's about 30 minutes west, all right? 2437 East 29th Street, Lorraine, okay? Feel free to Google it. Feel free to check my facts. Feel free to check comps. Do what you got to do, man. Do your due diligence, right? This is what I consider to be about a C-grade neighborhood. Now, if you don't know what I mean when I see, say C-grade neighborhood, I want you to check the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. You can Google it, and guess what? It's in the show notes below. It's also on HoltonWise.com on the tools and resource section. Just a nice little blue-collar area, right? You're getting, like, lower-income tenants, some Section 8 tenants in there, and you get pri great price-to-rent ratios, right? This one, 75 k That's what they want for it, 75 k We got to give them 75 k I think a lot of people are going to want this, right? Because why? The numbers make sense. We're going to be able to rent this thing to a cash paying tenant or a Section 8 tenant. I honestly prefer Section 8. Uh, dude, nothing better than government guaranteed money, right? You lose your job, you're on Section 8. Don't matter. Rent's paid, baby. COVID hits, you can't go to work. Don't matter. Rent's paid, baby. I mean, dude, freaking you end up in a drug deal with Hunter Biden. Stuff goes wrong. You got to go to jail for a little bit. Doesn't matter. Rent's paid, baby. All right, one more. 
you're hired to fix laptops and Hunter Biden <laughs> sends you his laptop and you discover all types of crazy government secrets and the Killitons have your family murdered? Doesn't matter. Rent's paid, baby. You know what I'm saying, okay? The moral of the story is bad stuff happens to tenants sometimes and then they can't pay their rent. When you go Section 8, you don't have to deal with that, right? Think about it, okay? So 1095, you could go cash, but again, I prefer Section 8. Now, what that would look like, at the end of the year, after paying my team to handle all the property management, you're looking at about 7000 in net profit. Now, this is where it gets good, right? You only put down eighteen grand, right? Eighteen seven fifty. We get a lender to kick in the other fifty six two fifty for you. If you don't have lenders, don't worry. Shoot my folks an email. We'll get you our list of lenders, right? We got lenders in all 50 states. We got hard money lenders, non-traditional lenders. We got lenders who will lend to Canadians, even the truckers, right? Even the truckers shutting down Canada. We get them loans too, baby. Woo! Anyway. Uh, oh, that could be another one, right? Your tenant ends up stuck in a Canadian trucker barricade and they can't work to get in to pay the rent. Don't matter. The government's guaranteeing the rent. See? See how great Section 8 is? Anywho. So you put down 18000 the bank kicks in 56 That would net out to a 23% return. My team will do all the on-the-ground work for you, the property management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance. We insure all rental properties throughout the state of Ohio. So if you're watching the show and you got a house in Cincinnati and you think friggin' Geico or friggin' State Farm is charging you too much, yo, have us give you a free quote. Now, what I don't want you to do, though, is be like, hey, hey, James, can you insure my car? No! We cannot insure your car. What about your kid's car? No! I don't want to talk to your fucking kid! All we do is insure rental properties. I don't dick around with none of that other stuff. No RVs, no boats, no cars. No owner-occupied homes. Your rental properties, that is what we do. We broker these with many providers to get you the best rate for real estate investors. All that other business, keep that with your current guy. I don't want it. But... I am an expert in helping landlords, so if you want lower landlord insurance, let your boy JYs know. Anywhere in Ohio, I will get you taken care of. You could uh, fill out the form to get a free quote below, right? So this property, moral of the story, I like the neighborhood. Uh, in addition, right, this area, Lorraine, getting two new naval bases, okay? Uh, those are expected to bring a ton of jobs, like thousands of jobs, right? So uh, all told... Uh, very, very safe investment. I think this one is a home run. Let me know if you want to do the deal. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.